Okay, hello. So today we're going to be talking about how to import a page. And as you see, we have a WordPower 25 grid, which maybe some of the students had before that you've worked with. And we want to take a page that we've made on here and put it into our new grid of maybe 80. So I made a page under I want for a student and it was called Rachel's favorites, my favorite things. And here are, is the page. So it's a 25 grid and this is what I want to add in. So I know that I've called it Rachel's, fa Rachel's favorites which is helpful. So sometimes we have created a page, like let's go back, went back and we've created a whole new social page for them. Like if we go into social, it is specific to that person or we've created a new personal questions page like this one. Um, we wanna just remember that this has the name personal and questions, which is in every one of the vocabularies. So it may be kind of trial and error as you choose that one. I haven't quite figured out how to rename the button because when you change the name on the button, it doesn't really change the name um, in the system. So I'll figure that one out for you. But it may be that you'll go to import a page and you'll see like three personal questions and it may be the very last one in the list, um, which we can go over together if you need. But anyways, we are copying the uh, from the I want, does, that doesn't matter, but we're copying Rachel's favorites, okay? So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go into our new vocabulary that we're putting that into, because that's where you want to start. So we're going to go into Word Power 80 model. And here we are. And I think I want to put the favorite things from for this student. We could have it navigate here, but let's see. If I pushed want on page 80, it does change a few things, right? It kind of leads you through to go, to get, to play, to say, to tell. Um, and there's not really a good place to put it here. Oh, look what I see. Favorite things button comes up, which is why we really can't call it favorite things because there is one, right? So if we did call it favorite things and that's what we were importing because there is a button on every one of them that says favorite things, we would just have to remember it's a duplicate and it's probably the last one, the last one chosen. So um, let's put it here since there already is a button. So here we are in the page we want. So let's go actually, let's go back and I'll show you that again. So we're going to put this button. You can really choose whatever makes sense for your class, your student, but we're going to put it under want and replace this button. So the first thing we have to do is go up here to menu and click edit page. Now we have our red bar at the top and we want to import the page first. So we're gonna come back over to menu and click import copy page, import another page. And we're gonna to go to the vocabulary we are copying from. I believe, oh look, I have two, but I believe it was this copy word power 25. We're gonna see, we're gonna search for Rachel's, uh-oh, not there. So let's go back and maybe it was this one. Copy Word Power 25. We're gonna come up here and search for Rachel's. Oh, there it is, that's the right vocabulary. So we wanna choose Rachel's favorites and then import. And it'll say importing page. All right, so now it's in the system. So now we can click done. We're gonna come back over here to our button. We want to import it to, click it, edit this button. And we are going to call it my new name, which is my favorite things, or you could keep it favorite things. That's totally fine. Whatever you want to call it. Rachel's favorites. Okay. And I don't know why the button message is two, but we're going to not have it say anything. So we're going to get rid of that and then scroll down. We can change the image later. Oops. Let me get rid of that. We're gonna scroll down and um, as you can see, we can do a lot with this button. We could change the size, we can change the border, change the color, I think you guys have done that. So we're gonna come down here to our actions and I actually wanna get rid of speech message because I don't need it to say anything. So we're gonna click edit, get rid of speech message. I'm actually gonna get rid of cancel visit and I'm gonna have it navigate to something. So we're gonna go back to this one, done click navigate 
and we're going to go into navigate, but we don't want it to navigate to favorite things. Now we want it to navigate to Rachel's favorites. And there it is because we've imported it already. No animation. And then you could change the picture if you wanted to. And um, I'm just going to leave it. Well, I had already changed it in the other one, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it the star. And then I'm going to say save. Okay, now it says Rachel's favorites. And if I go out of editing mode and to appear done, if I click on it now, there it is. It goes back to my 25 page that we had already made in the other grid. So that's an example of how you can import a page into a new um, vocabulary layout. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but remember what you name the page is really important because you're gonna have to find it and it could be a duplicated one. Um, and that one that you newly import will typically come up on the bottom. So I will show you that actually as an example, okay? So let's say we wanna replace this in social. We wanna replace personal, okay? So we're, cause I already made one for this other uh, this other person. So we're gonna go, into, gonna go into menu. I've already imported it actually, cause I tried it and realized it, that it duplicates, but edit page. We're gonna click this button since it's already been imported. We're going to edit it, and then I'm going to have it navigate to, navigate, and type up here, personal. Look, there's two. I think it would be the lower one, so let's try it, because this, I think, is the one that's already in WordPower 80, so it, to me, has to be the new one added, so we're going to try that, no animation. Everything else we can really keep the same at this point, just to show you an example. Save, done, and let's try it out. Okay, that works. So it was the lower one. So just keep that in mind. As you saw, it was a duplicate and um, it may be a little trial and error, but um, remember you're never gonna mess anything up. We can always fix it. So, oh look, here's another favorite things. All right, well, have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.